Hello, I'm Alicia, aka Rhapsody. Welcome to my channel, and and today I am going to be doing a, a tutorial for you um, of this of this Beetlejuice inspired look. I've done half of my face, so you have an idea of what the finished product will look like. This is actually a very simple look. It is. Um, a black and white Beetlejuice inspired look and all you need for this is is the uh, BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I got this look. It's kind of a carnival-esque Beetlejuice inspired black and white look. And the first thing that uh, you need to do is to prime your eyes. I am use it using Urban Decay's Eden Primer Potion. And over that I'm going to put uh, NYX's J Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Uh, just to make everything really pop and stand out. I pretty much do this with everything. And then I'm going to take the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And really any palette with both black and white will work. Although um, the white in the Take Me to Brazil palette is kind of a in a ghostly white. It has a strange kind of green iridescence to it, so it's kind of nice for Halloween looks. It has a, a spooky quality. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to dip my brush into the black here at the bottom and just create uh, four lines on my eye, starting in the inner corner. And basically I'm just trying to keep these straight and in conjunction with the ones I've already drawn. I uh, don't have to completely fill them in right now because I'm going to go in with the white and then darken up the black afterwards. And the last one I'm going to drag out at the edge. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to clean off my brush and add the white. I'm going in with the white in between the black. Now I'm going to go back to the black and touch it up, make it nice and dark. This is where you want to even out whatever you haven't evened out before. I'm also at this point going to take the black into my crease and blend. This is the only blending involved, but there's a lot of it right here. Now I'm going to take the blendy side of my brush and um, apply the white to the brow bone. This is where the iridescence is really a nice feature. Final touch-ups will be after the eyeliner. So I'm going to start by taking Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, which is black, and I'm going to use this just in the inner corners of my eyes because I find it very difficult to do the inner corner as precisely with gel eyeliner. And for this I'm leaving it kind of open, almost like a, like a hungry sandworm. 
I apologize that I didn't do that on camera, but my mirror's over here, and that one really requires some precision. Now I'm going to take Urban Decay's uh, Perversion 24-7 eyeliner and use that in, on my lower lash line. And this can be all smoky and smudged out here. In fact, I'm going to set it with a little bit of black uh, eye, eye shadow. And for the up, for the top, I am going to use Inglot's uh, gel eyeliner in number 77, which is their black. And then for the lip, uh, I'm gonna, going to start by lining my lips with NYX's Alien Lip Pencil, which is their black lip pencil. You could also use Urban Decay's Perversion Lip Pencil, but um, which, which is essentially the same thing. It's probably a little creamier, but it's also a lot more expensive. Next, I'm going to apply Kat Von D's Witches, uh, which is a black liquid lipstick. And over the top of that, I'm taking Notoriously Morbid's Lichen Changeling Top Coat, which is silver. And there you have the black and white, and a little bit silver, uh, Beetlejuice inspired spooky Halloween look. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing how I got this look, and I thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye bye.